Oh my gosh, it finally happened. We finally got one of our first two rem two episodes of, well, two last episodes of season one. Honestly, this episode was pretty good, and <laughs> it was also a pretty funny one, too. Honestly, I think this battle would is pretty good, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, let's just get started with it. So the first thing I really want to talk about, which I don't know a lot of people talking about this, but is their new animation styles, bro. I understand that SpongeBob, we've seen SpongeBob before in his new animation style, but in his animation style, he's like, like we've seen him barely in cutscenes. Like he's either getting thrown around, he's getting like tossed, he's getting picked up, he's running away. We don't really see a good cut of him, and we finally got that beautiful cut um, that we needed to see for the master episode. Mickey Mouse, we haven't really seen anything off him for a very long time because we like we really don't want to like <laughs> talk about him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we finally got that beautiful beautiful animation style that we got to see so yeah that was pretty neat honestly i think the editing and stuff like the overtopping parts like this has like really good shots i think this is one of the best scenes even though it's kind of concerning <laughs> it's just so much over detail it's kind of good you can see the stretches on the faces so it's not like completely stretched out and you can actually see the detail and then there's they're grabbing on which you can actually see all the wind blowing, which is actually very interesting to see in animation. And then also as well as the stuff like Verbalist's baggy pants getting blown away. And then stuff with like the, the, the confetti kind of stuff kind of like getting flown as well. So it's almost like this animation style has grown even bigger since episode 15. And I actually think the um, details on this is a little bit better than episode 15. I don't know why. I just I thought it did pretty well. And the fact that episode 15 came out like three months ago, that's a three month animation. Unless if they started working on this before episode 15, then maybe. But this this is pretty good. Um, honestly, I thought it was a pretty close fight, Mickey and SpongeBob. So, one thing that I kind of was disappointed on, it's the, one of the only disappointing parts about this episode, is the fact that. Their solos, their performances are nothing different from the solos we got in for like the remastered solos that Verbally posted like a couple months ago. If I don't know, maybe you're I, it's been a while. So, when this episode, like when I first saw it, um, I noticed it was on April 1st, so I was like, this could be a joke, but it wasn't. Um, the second thing I noticed is it's a remastered and as a lot of people know remasters always are just like an updated version of a solo so mickey mouse and spongebob already having the remastered own solos i had an idea that the solos they already had out is going to be the things we're going to be get, we're going to see in this episode which i was not wrong on well, so that means we're technically not going to be getting a solo, like a like a so like an actual solo of these two because we already got that. Unless if he does like a remastered plus or like a remix instead of like or remastered or is considering it as a remastered instead of those ones as an original. So it would be kind of weird how he would do it if he does a solo, but I don't know how he's going to do it, and it, I don't even know if he's going to do it, but. We're going to have to see. But overall, I honestly think that their solos were pretty good. Like I said, they both had those already. But overall, honestly, I think Mickey won. Okay, <laughs> some people will be like, what is wrong with you? But the truth is, I actually think Mickey did a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but he <laughs> did better. The thing is, Mickey's solo was so driven and like more of his type of beat, it, it just kind of like, you know, had the idea of what I wanted to see in a solo. Spongebob had pretty good, is more of auto-tune and tasting, which I honestly, I don't really see and, and enjoy from, and the thing is, I don't really like the original solos with these two, 
they just kind of find it annoying and you know less good and um spongebob solo that he did i don't the flow the beatboxing is the two worst parts about the and the remastered part of spongebob the roasts are better though mickey's flow and beatboxing i would admit that is a little bit better than spongebob's but overall it was a pretty close battle Honestly, the episode was a 9 out of 10. It was a pretty good episode. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of extra detail, a lot of uh, extra stuff. I liked it. I feel like it could have been better with stuff like, I don't know, maybe more of a paying attention to the, like, I don't know, character detail. And it's plus, it's a remastered. It's supposed to be, like, the first episode, like, the first rema- like the original episode, but, like, updated stuff. So, the fact that they're, they're all playing this stuff, I mean, it's not bad, but it's in a good, bad kind of situation. Beatboxes, 8 out of 10. They're not bad beatboxes, but since they're kind of original, I kind of marked off a point from that already. And, um, the well, they're not original, but I meant, like, as if they're not new, I guess. Um, but, yeah, overall, beatboxes were pretty good. Surprise. I don't know if you guys are going to mark this off like this, but... To be honest, I did not expect SpongeBob vs. Mickey Mouse remastered. That is one thing I really did not expect. I was expecting, you know, I don't know. just I was expecting some other things, but this is something I really did not expect. So, honestly, overall, we got a 27 out of 30, which is actually pretty good for an episode that kind of, you know, spunked down from the original, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So... Yes, this episode was pretty good, and yeah, but the cool thing about this is we have one more episode left in season one, which is actually kind of sad, unless a verbally, because we just got one episode, which was the remastered, there's so many other things and ideas we could do, and I already can mark off a lot of things, there's actually, I feel like verbally, what he should have done is lose a round. I don't know if he's doing that. I don't know if that's a season two thing where he's going to put it with season two. But honestly, it's I'm just kind of sad about if this is actually it for season one and kind of skips over lose a round and skips over uh, extra stuff. It's kind of sad. So I'm just going to do my prediction of what I think next episode will be or the next final episode of season one will be, if that makes more sense. Um... Yeah, so the first one, I actually think it's going to be a Guru versus Pikachu remastered. It would make sense because this is the only other battle with the old animation. Because, you know, it, it has like um wh- uh, one, one animation style, which is um the old animation style, which is pretty much episode 1 and 2. And then episode 3 through like 12 is... um. Like, kind of like the normal based animation style we got, like the medium kind, I guess. And then 13 through now, we got the new animation style. So it kind of makes sense if we got a Pikachu versus Groot remastered. And I think it would be kind of an interesting battle because Pikachu got let down so hard the first time. So it would be kind of an interesting battle in the lead bag. So, yeah. Um, the next thing I feel like will most likely might happen after. So Black Panther versus Pennywise, or as more better way to describe it um a battle for third or third place round whatever a battle that basically had the two losers from round three fighting for that third place spot i think this is a pretty good battle as well because these two characters are actually really interesting if they had a battle it'd be even more interesting i kind of like the idea more than i like patrick versus pennywise or deadpool versus black panther because they're two characters I really never thought they were going to fight, but here we are. And, yeah, I think this is a really good opportunity to bring more lore into the series. Well, not lore, but expectations, and also as well as stuff like, um, I guess, um, can I don't know, canon is, I, canon, I, I don't know. Um, I think Pennywise versus Joker and Patrick versus Goofy are two battles. I feel like they're both le- like, both equally have a, have a high chance of getting in, but I don't know. And the final one I think might happen is a Mario vs. Sonic remastered. Uh, some people are going to be like, what? And I, I, you know, it's just kind of funny if we could actually see this battle happen as a remastered. 
because Sonic was such a like a, a like a character that everyone liked, and Mario was in that kind of situation where he's like pretty much one of the best loser round characters, I guess. So the fact that Sonic and Mario versus Remastered would be actually a pretty interesting battle, and plus we didn't really actually see re like remix solos, like we have never gotten that in a solo before. So it would actually be something more new and interesting to see. And also Verblaze could make like new beatboxes and stuff, you know. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Um I really had quite a bit to say for this, but yeah, overall I think this was a pretty good episode. And yeah. If you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And if you want to like the video, you can. Uh, when you like the video and more people see it. It's just kind of this overlapping thing, and then, you know, one day, you know, verbally might see it, and then maybe you'll be like, we're season one, you know? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, honestly, that was honestly really surprising. I did not expect that. Um, the day I'm posting it is on the 2nd of April. I wanted to post this on the 1st because it, I just wanted to, but it was too late, so it looks like it's on the 2nd now. Um, well, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll see y'all guys next time. Goodbye.